Hey, Sean here from speedcubereview.com. Let's take a look at the 356S V2. Before I start, I want to thank speedcube.com.au for helping make this happen. Stop by the store to pick up this cube as well as many other ones through the link in the description. So first, there was a 356. This was such a hyped cube. The pictures looked like nothing we had ever seen before. The rumors about the weight system as well as possibly springs and tensioning of each piece were all over the place. When the cube came out, it was a bit of a letdown. Not because the cube itself wasn't great, but mainly because it was a pretty catchy cube. A few months later, Gans came out with the new caps to fix the issue, dubbing the new version, the 356S. Now they've altered the cube a bit more with the V2. The main thing different in this cube is the grooves in the corner pieces. They are a bit more shallow. This basically makes a cube feel slightly smoother. Out of the box, I thought this cube was faster than the old version, but after some messing around and taking out the old version, I realized that I had changed the springs in the old one and switched the standard S8 for the S7. My old one was a bit tighter, caused by the higher tension springs. Like you would expect from the 356, this cube is pretty fast, but not insane. Locking is very minimal, and on standard tensions, popping is non-existent. As far as the difference from the V1, when I tried to guess the old version from the new, I was able to tell the difference some of the time, but not every time. So is this a great cube? Of course. Is the V2 that much different? No. I want to go a little more into this though. I've seen multiple times in comment sections of other reviews of this cube that Gans is just trying to push the same product on its customers by rebranding it, make slight alterations, and changing the packaging. First off, isn't this the case for pretty much every single cube company? Almost every major cube has gone through slight alterations from shape of the pieces to converting two-piece corner design to three-piece, extra grooves in the edge piece, and so on. If you have a 356, and especially if you have the new caps, then this is not for you. The V1 will not be in stock anymore, so improving the cube for newer purchasers is something I would expect any reputable company to do. For someone who doesn't have a 356, is it worth it? I would say not for the regular or advanced edition, but a big yes for the master's edition. Now you might say, weight. The regular one already costs a bit more than pretty much every other cube on the market. Why would I get the same one that's even more expensive? I'll tell you why. If you are just looking for any random cube to practice, then you can pretty much get anything on the market and practice with that. The problem is that there's so much out there that knowing what you prefer as far as feeling and tension is difficult. With the 356, first I feel the cost of the regular edition is justified. The construction is very solid and I would say the most durable feeling speed cube I have ever felt. With the Masters Edition, you get some very high quality half braid stickers on the cube, but the alternate springs make it worth it. They come with what they call S8, and you have three others that come with it. I like my cubes to feel a bit more stable, so the S7 springs do that for me. If I wanted even more stability and control, I would put the S6 springs in it. If you like very loose and fast cubes, the S9s might make that happen. Yes, you can buy springs set separately for different cubes, but these are made for the 356 and work perfectly. With construction, stickers, springs, you also get the ability to add weights to the pieces like I did in a different video. Also, with the metal octopus core, you eliminate any chance of having a damaged core or stripped screws. You pretty much have the only cube you'll ever need, with tons of ways to adjust the feeling of the cube to make it just for you. Is this cube going to make anyone a world record solver by switching to it? Of course not. But if you're on the market for a new cube, but either don't know what kind of cubes you like or want to try something new, this isn't a bad choice. Yes, you can get sometimes two cubes for the price of this one, but for what you get with the 356 SV2, it is worth it. Thank you again. Please hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.